Hello and welcome to the Liz Experiment YouTube channel. This is the channel where I share my experience and field notes towards trying to architect my best life. I am talking to you today from Lisbon, Portugal. This is my Airbnb room rental. I um, am here. Initially, I was coming um, for a retreat that my friend Carol is putting on with her business, Travel Like a Local. And I'm still here for that. But I decided to come a week early and just kind of settle in and spend more than two weeks in a place. And so I've been, I arrived here on Sunday. I'm recording to you. I'm recording this to you. I don't think that's English. I'm recording this video on Thursday morning before coffee, which explains the mishap with the wording. So be easy on, on your judgments. Um, and so I've been here since uh, for about four or five days. I'm staying in this lovely Airbnb uh, rental. I will definitely include a link in the discussion or whatever they, whatever they call it on YouTube. On podcasts, they call it the show notes. So I'll probably be referring to that uh, frame, fr phrase. But I'm staying in this uh, Airbnb with a woman who is a retired professor in philosophy. And her apartment is full of books and she's just full of an incredible amount of knowledge. I don't think it's an accident that I ended up in this apartment. Um, and I look forward to sharing more about her and, uh, well, you know, just my experience here. <clears throat> Maybe not, not necessarily about her, but I'm in the Campo de Ulrique neighborhood of Lisbon, which is a bit more um, local, <clears throat> excuse me, versus touristy. Um, I mean, I'm sure there are some tourists here, but it's very, very local neighborhood. So let's see, I'm working and exploring the neighborhood. That's what I'm doing here this week, people. Now we move on to what are some field notes from what I learned this week. The first thing I learned this week, um, well, I learned a lot. I'm not going to be able to summarize it all. I had a very, very big week. It was a big travel week. It was a big emotional week. It was a big, all good. Everything's good. It was just a big week. Um, but one of the things that I learned is, and I got to revisit uh, my friends in Lausanne, Switzerland. And I just remembered how much I enjoyed spending time with them and, and just being in Switzerland in general. It's a, it's a remarkable country. Um, it's beautiful. Lausanne is a beautiful town. I went to Gruyere and I had cheese in Gruyere. And then I went to the museum um, from the that was dedicated to the man who invented the alien films and who was the artist for them. Incredible museum. It's in Gruyere, Switzerland. Um, it was in quite con a contrast to the medieval town of Gruyere. So if you're ever in the area, I, <laughs> I recommend it. I'll link to my um, blog post where um, I share about it. Wait, I didn't write it yet. One day I'll link to it. My bad. Um, so I learned that. I learned uh, or remembered that. The second big takeaway from this week was, um, and learning, was this need to be, and this is also something I've, I'm kind of remembering, but this uh, need for, to be incredibly honest with myself and with others. And what I mean by that is the, the shield and the facade that we put on, or I put on, that the ways that I hold back, in, instead of being honest, even just in the little moments where instead of telling somebody you can't make it to drinks with them because of you misplanned something or you just can't, you make up a lie, for instance. Anything from that to like the big moments where you're having a deep conversation with someone and you're holding back even though you know you can trust them. I recognize the need, <clears throat> if I'm going to continue on this journey and be successful, to be honest in each and every moment. Um, so I learned that. I also learned that living in a foreign country alone uh, is very hard. And I've heard this before and I imagined it, but now I'm experiencing it. And it's a, it's a roller coaster of emotions because everything you do is new including the way you order coffee and the way you eat breakfast and the way you, I don't know, walk around town. And it's just an onslaught of new experiences and it makes you question your own experiences, which is good for a journey like this one. But it's also very um, 
hard. It's just hard and that's okay. Uh, but I, I really, really learned that. Um, so what did I work on this week? What was I working on in regards to what I learned and just in general? The first thing I was working on was figuring out Portuguese people, which I still don't have it down. But what I have noticed about the Portuguese, who are an incredibly nice people, by the way, awesome people, happy country. I think they said they were like the third happiest country in the world. They're happy people. But um, what I learned about their language or how they speak it, at least what I, my interpretation of it, is it's um, everything is kind of pronounced differently. They just kind of go with it and they somehow understand it. So uh, I've kind of given myself free reign to screw it up, which leads into um, the living out loud lesson or not lesson, the, the topic that I've been working on this week, which is, you know what, just, just F it. Just try it. Just try it. Just be honest. Be honest and go out and try to order a coffee in Portuguese when you don't have any idea how to speak the language. It mostly comes out as Spanish, by the way, but I got the coffee and I got the treat. Um, I also am working on not eating as many pastries because Lisbon and Portuguese people love them some pastries. There's a pastry shop every block. I'm not exaggerating with that. There's one across the street. There's one around the block, like on the other side of the street. You, you feel me. Um, but the, also the living out loud area ties directly back to being incredibly open and honest. Just be myself and, and own that. And if I do something that I don't like or that I think is a mistake, change it. But I'm going to have to go through mistakes in order to get to any sort of, what's the opposite of mistakes? I don't want to say perfection because we're not perfect, but you feel me. Anywho's, um, and then the other thing that I worked was, I want to say I worked on it, but it's more that I thought on it and I, I am actively working on it, but a big theme that comes up on this, uh, that has come up on this journey, and this has kind of always come up for me, but I feel like it's a bit different on this journey. And that is, um, this idea that I work too much. Um, and I, I, I hear that from a few people. Um, from a lot, from all different sources. Not that I work too much, but that instead of working, I should be going out and exploring. And what I struggle with with that is that the working allows me to be here in Lisbon or Hungary or Switzerland or Copenhagen. You know, I don't know how to say, okay, I'm not going to earn money today to go out and explore. I have balanced it much more than I used to. Um, you know, being here in Lisbon, I would take the, I don't really start working until like noon-ish, one o'clock. I usually take the mornings to eat breakfast and then I'll walk to get coffee and I'll sit in a coffee or pasteria in this case, um, a place and I'll write or I'll do some of my own side projects and I've really kind of been settling in this week because I've been traveling so much and I know when my friend Carol gets here next week and we start working on the retreat it's going to be more action but for instance my Airbnb host sees that and she's kind of like wow you're not here to be a tourist you're here to you're just here I'm like yeah and she's like you work really hard I'm like well, yeah like that's why I'm that's how I can be here so long story short I if you have any ideas on this or if you've experienced this kind of like you need to do something besides work but you don't know how to stop working and still sustain the things that you're supposed to be doing instead of work I would love to hear your thoughts on it it's because something that I'm going to actively be keeping in mind um, and I and I am working towards something that is a that I'm comfortable with because I'm Despite what people say, people can say whatever they want. But right now, I feel like I'm out of balance still. And I want to get better about that. So I would love to hear your comments and thoughts. And that's this week on the Liz Experiment from Lisbon, which is also spelled L-I-S. Coincidence? I think not. Um, 
please share your thoughts. Please like this video. Please tell me you didn't like this video. Please tell me what you did like about it, didn't like about it. Anything down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you want to stay up to date, I post these weekly updates uh, every week, obviamente. Don't know that word in Portuguese, though. Um, so hit the subscribe button and you'll get them when they're when they're posted. And until next week, thanks for watching.